video. So I'm going to be showing you how to change your wiper motor on a W204 C-Class Mercedes. Before you go any further, first thing you want to check if your car has headlamp washers. There's a way easier way to check that it is your washer pump and not that it's stuck or something electrical has gone wrong. So with the car on and your headlights on as well, you're going to push your washer knob in. So your washer jet should be working, however in this case obviously they're not. I believe it's on a five time interval when you press this in. If your car has Xenon headlights and it has washer jets in the bumper, they will shoot the headlight and clean the headlight. Now obviously in this case, the washer jets in the bar are working. I'll show you a video of that as well. And the windscreen washer jets aren't working. So you're gonna to wanna to stand next to the washer bottle, which is in the left hand front of the car and have someone else push this for you. You're gonna to wanna to try and listen to see if you can hear the pump working. If you can't hear the pump working, obviously there's an issue with the pump or the wiring. If you can hear the pump working, then there's gotta be a blockage somewhere else or maybe you're just low on washer fluid and you just don't have anything on the screen showing you telling you that. So now that we know that our washer jets are working in our bumper, we now know that the problem is definitely in the pump. So now we're gonna to wanna to jack up the car. You don't have to, but it's much easier if you take off the wheel and the liner. So I'll get that done now, and I'll bring you back once we have the liner and the wheel off. Now you're gonna to wanna to have this open before you do anything down the bottom. That way the water will just flow fluidly out. All right, so here we have our washer bottle. I've removed the front liner. You can leave the back liner in place. There are two 10 mils you want to probably take out. It just helps in getting your liner out. Now once we're here, we can tell that the water level for here is fine because this is our headlight washer pump. If your car doesn't have it, obviously there won't be one here. This will be your main pump. So what I've done now is I've got a drip tray under. That way when we take this out, we're not pissing water all over the ground. Now to take it out, it pretty much just is sitting just there on its own with the washer. So you just want to, want to move out of the way. And you're going to spin it out. And here we are. Try to catch as much as you can. So if you're gentle, you might want to get a screwdriver, just push it like that, pop out. Then we're going to get our other one, clip it straight in, make sure it clicks in nicely. Get our old hose, make sure it's ready on our side. Just want to put this one in, just make sure it's sitting in position. I'm just going to push it down. like that. Make sure we get our hose. Make sure it clips in nice. That's it. Now our brand new one is in. Only $7 worth. Rather than play $60 for a Eugenio one. That's it. We can now test it and make sure it works. And after we test it, then we can reassemble everything. Now you're not going to want to fill it up all the way. You're just going to want to fill it up a little bit. So once it's full, you can retest it. That way, if there is a different issue or the one you put was faulty, you're not filling it up and then having to drain it again. So there we are, I filled it up. Now we're gonna close this, lower our bonnet, and turn the car to just the ignition. We don't want to actually start the car because it is on stands, but could cause some problems. We just want to put it to ignition so that way we can test our washers. But on these, you need to have your bonnet fully closed, otherwise, you can't use the washers. So here we are, and there we are. As you can see now, working wonderfully. And that's it. So now we can put our liner back on, our wheel back on, put the car down and we're finished.